Course reports. As a teacher, we have access to some very powerful reports, telling us what our learners have been doing in the course and when. To access these reports or logs, we click the More link from the gear menu. We can see here logs and live logs, an activity report, course participation report. You may see other reports too if they've been enabled by your administrator. Live Logs shows you what's happening right now in your course. And if we click Logs, we can leave it as default, which shows us everything everyone has done, or we can specify a particular participant, day, particular activity, and type of action. We can also look at different types of logs. Teaching usually relates to what course teachers do that will affect the learning experience of their students. For instance, updating a course section or creating an assignment. Participating usually relates to the student's learning experience, such as posting to a forum. And other might be updating the calendar or viewing a message, things which do not directly affect learning. So let's select a specific date and create and teaching. And we can see that on that day, our teacher Sam set up an assignment. Currently, our teacher Sam is the only participant in her practice course, so let's go to a different course on a different site to explore reports with more interesting activity. On this course, we see that extra reports such as competency breakdown and activity completion are available. You will only see these if they're enabled on your site and in your course. The course participation report is useful for seeing easily who has and has not been taking part in particular course activities. One of the activities in this course, if we click the drop down menu, is a forum where learners must tell us why they are here. So if we look back one week and choose student and post, we will be able to see who has posted in this forum during the last week. And we see that only students Barbara and Francis have posted so far. So we can select a number of students and message them together with a polite reminder. Finally, the activity completion report is very useful if you have the advanced feature of activity completion set up in your course. The ticks against activities are to tell us and you when a task has been done and the activity completion report shows the teacher at a glance who has completed which tasks and who has not. Note that as a teacher, you can also click into a box and mark it complete on behalf of your student.